Hi friend, how are you? Hope you all are fine. Today, on a behalf of CCTV Desk, we come with a new video. This video is all about, as you see the screen, it is Mac OS. This is so. This is basically a video how you configure Super Cam Plus for Mac OS. Basically, Super Cam Plus is a Android and iOS applications. Okay, Super. If you Google it, super. so is a iOS applications or it is Android applications which is used to view a remotely view or locally view a TVT camera devices means IP camera or NVR DVR remotely. Okay, so you can change the setting, you can uh, search playback, you can record the playback. You can download it the playback. It is uh, basically by use of this remotely view, but it is also available for uh, Mac OS or Windows OS. Okay, so uh, for this, you can uh, Google it for Mac. Okay, so many website will come. So here you found a website. Or in my uh, our website, here you find a link. So here, here you find uh, both uh, Windows OS link and Mac OS link. Okay, so you can download according to your operating system. So I have already downloaded. So in my case, I just uh, downloaded here. It is so I have already downloaded. So here is my uh, PKG file just double click on this okay so it will start for ask for continue just click on continue click on installed so it will ask for a password this is a password of your system okay this is for Mac OS system and click on install software and wait for a few minutes once it is installed a pop-up message will come that installed successfully it will take a few few minutes. Okay, so this was the message. Just click on closed and in launchpad use if you search for there it is here it is okay it is from monitor client. Just click on this. wait for a few minutes okay so in many case uh, as you know that if you uh, monitor if you log in, install a third party application in mac os it will ask for a security and option so just click on system preferences click on security and, and security and privacy tab here you find uh, your access to the third party application just click on open anyway you find it okay so in my case it's not come so just i will tell you in advance so just put username and password here my username and the, it is default tvt password okay just click on auto login so just click on this okay wait for a few minute here you can if you want to uh, answer these questions you can but in i just i usually skip okay so this is the interface of the uh, software here you find live view, storage playback, resource management, everything. All the option is available, which are similar to the NVR. Okay, so just click on the the first thing you should do. Just click on the resource management. Okay, and here you find if you can here you just click on add. Just wait for a few minutes. Okay. Now, in in most cases, if you have a TVT device then it will come automatically here okay if it is not then you should click on manually add and here you find lot of options here ip address ip range domain name serial number whatever if you want to connect with local locally just click on ip address and use your local ip address and if you want to access remotely then click on serial number so in my case i use this ip address okay 
so you need to just give a IP address of your device means DVR and your IP camera so 192.168.1.8 this is my local IP address just leave the thing here it is the 603 digits port this is the port of the device again this is the uh, device means IP camera and we are DVR generally this is a default default port so if you change the port in the, your device you should change here also the default username and the password so password this is the password of your device don't confuse it okay this is password device means camera DVR whatever one two three whatever so in my case I use a default IP address and here is my password and just click on a test and wait for a few minutes if you successfully if you if you enter all the thing correctly then this message will come test succeeded click on ok and here you find a lot of option just leave it by default if you have created any area if you have multiple device and create area otherwise leave default ok just click on ok and wait for a few minutes here you find this is disabled when it is connected it is automatically enabled oh, let's see it is enabled ok in my case I have 4 channel DVR so it is written 4 and again click on home click on live view click on this and click on okay click on this so here you find all the option okay just a so whatever you do with that in VR means changing a camera setting remotely playback lively view everything is available on this you can find snapshot PTZ control zoom in zoom out mic camera setting everything okay for you change if you need to change just change it okay and here you find ms setting so brightness saturation whatever you want to change okay so if you need any if you have any doubt just comment it i will make a separate video okay any any camera topic so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe please we need a more subscriber please Thank you. Have a nice day.